Hi Leos. So I know y'all see all these cards on this table. I'm about to explain to y'all what's going on. I did an entire reading for you guys and I ran out of storage. So I said let me go ahead and clean it up and come back to Leo. Okay, so this is your general love reading for September 2022. Take it how it resonates. Read the rest for another Leo. Gang gang what is up, what is good with y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed your season okay i know it was lit all right but the first card that came out was the eight of wands leo okay so i'm gonna just leave all the cards right here and tell you everything that came out that way i ain't gotta reshuffle and do anything over because you might need this message here okay something is moving pretty quickly this may be travel you may be moving okay somebody may be wanting to come see you this may be you and another person throwing fiery darts at each other with this eight of wands this may be another fire sign like yourself okay it doesn't have to be um this could be someone wanting to communicate with you okay i feel like this is making them pretty emotional maybe they said something to you you know that made you emotional maybe um you know you were in search of your uh, emotions about whatever it is that they said okay this person here you know they want to come towards you talk to you or whatever because they they see that you're very loving and nurturing okay they realize that you're very nurturing caring and giving here very loving with this queen of cups cancer Pisces, scorpio energy all right, and it's making them emotional that you guys had a tower moment, Scorpio energy. Now, this could be a shakeup, a breakup. This could be a divorce. This could be an argument, something very uncomfortable, okay? Or this could have just been them having a shocking realization about you, okay? And I do feel like that, yeah, they can't walk away from you with the Eight of Cups. And that's the realization that they, as much as they try to walk away from you, it's like they, they won't be able to. They'll be unsuccessful. So I do feel like this person, if you're not together with them right now, they want to return to you. Okay? Some of you want to work it out with this person and some of you do not. You know, I feel like you would just rather do things on your own. You feel like it's better that way if you work alone. Okay? This person may not have a job right now. They may be having financial issues. Okay? And that's the truth. I do feel like a lot of you do not want to work with this person anymore because of whatever truth that came out, whatever they said, or whatever was said, whatever you heard or somebody told you, okay? But I feel like this person wants to come in and communicate, okay? I do, I do see a breakthrough in communication here, all right? And they're wanting to balance things out with you. They're wanting to sever the connection and... And, and and reconcile with you they want it to be transparent with you and bring balance to the situation to the connection they want to be fair-minded right this may be a libra or gemini or an aquarius and i feel like their their thoughts and feelings are that they want to take the lead right because they they know you guys are natural born leaders. They know you guys aren't afraid of risks, right? But I do see that what's on their mind is they do want to take the leadership role and come towards you because they do still have um, very strong, passionate feelings for you here and emotional feelings for you here, okay? A lot of emotions for you. And I do see them wanting to come in and apologize. Now, this person may be, you know, a daydreamer okay they may daydream a lot uh, about the future i do see telepathic communication between you two where even if they're not around it's like you two talk to each other you two may talk to each other through music okay not even realize that but i do see somebody that's younger than you or you're younger than them they do want to come in and apologize to you all right but you know, and, and also with the strength card, Spirit is asking this person to have strength here because they're going to get through this, okay? But I do feel like that you may be holding it back, holding yourself back from this person, all right? Because they're immature and they're childish. And so uh, they may be the ones that were holding back, okay? They may be the ones that were holding back that was immature and very childish, right? They were the type that 
you know, they didn't want to settle down. They wanted to be a free spirit and be free and be a social butterfly. This may be an Aquarius or an Aries, but I do feel like if they, they feel like, it's this energy here where they feel like they want to come towards you and apologize, but they're trying to be strong because they feel that like it may be risky. Okay. They may feel that like it's risky. <clears throat> All right, and I do see this person feels very foolish because they were showing a lot of manipulation here with the magician. But they see you as a, a powerful manifester. They see you as someone that's taking a risk and taking the leap of faith and going into a new direction, starting something new and manifesting your dreams into reality here. Okay, there may be a new person coming in for some of y'all, a new love. But I feel like this person they, they see you as a powerful manifester and they're trying to make something happen with you. And I, I see them trying to manifest, bringing you this offer. Now, this is someone that is younger than you or the other way around. And their offers are little by little, you know, it's the bare minimum. And they may feel like they don't have much to offer you, but they want to make you some sort of an offer. They want to start over with you or work on something with you. Okay. Now, this is somebody you cut out here. It's maybe an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. You may be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. This person does want to send you um, some news or a message. Or they're trying to manifest sending you an unexpected message here. They may need your help too, Leo, but I do see them wanting to communicate with you to bring more clarity, more truth, because I do see them wanting to be transparent and, and let you know what's going on and tell you the truth here. Or you know the truth about this person. Either way, the truth is out, okay? And I do feel like this is somebody that you cut out of your life. You may have divorced this person. Because there is a legal situation right here where this may have been a divorce or a lawsuit or something like that. All right. <clears throat> They're wanting to come towards you and communicate, but they may not be speaking. So this may be a person's thoughts and feelings. Or this may be something that's actually happening here. You cut this person off and you you it's like you didn't want to speak to this person. Because the Six of Cups is over here. Which is someone you haven't heard from in a while. So I feel like you two haven't been talking. Or you are not speaking to them. Or you won't be. Because the high priestess is here. Your spirit guides are showing up here as well. The, initial, the initials B and J may be significant. I'm hearing Brittany, Brian, Julie, Jackie, Jane, Justin, Bobby. black someone's very spiritual here there's a very spiritual connection between the two of you also they realize that and um you may be a tarot reader or you're into tarot or they're getting some information from tarot they may be paying for someone's services here yeah it could be a tarot reader they may be getting a reading on you but they're not telling you that they missed the sex or oh, that's what they keep keeping hidden from you that they missed the sex but they want to, um, this, it's this energy here where they want a brand new start, a clean slate, a passionate brand new beginning in here. All right. And they don't like what's going on. They're not feeling it. They're very discontent, very unhappy and very unsatisfied. And they're trying to hold on to you energetically or some sort of way. But I feel like for some of you, they do miss the sex and you may be rejecting them. And that's what they fear. You may be rejecting this person and not opening up to them. Okay, because they, they're coming back for sex or whatever the case may be. Or something passionate. Leo, you, with the Eight of Wands, you also may have found messages. Because the Eight of Wands could be back and forth like passionate messages online or plans to travel to be intimate. So take it how it resonates, all right? But I do see that 
you're not fucking with this person for some of y'all you're not interested and you're, you're keeping your your money to yourself you're keeping your coins close to your chest you may still be holding on to what happened but i feel like <clears throat> you're not opening up to them for some of y'all y'all may have been married to this person all right not for everybody of course it's not gonna resonate with everybody this person is non-committal they're a cheater they like to sleep around while having a partner, but they're very clingy. They don't want to let you go. I feel like this person wants to have their cake and eat it too, and it doesn't work like that. Yeah, they may be having legal issues, or you took this person to court to get a lawsuit or a restraining order or order protection or some shit like that to get away from them. Happiness is here or it's on its way to you. All right, Leo. So that's what's coming up. <clears throat> what? Another thing that was showing up here is that there's children involved okay so you may have children with this person or from a previous connection but i feel like there was a lot of red flags okay there was a lot of red flags maybe you had to free yourself from this person because maybe there was just red flags that you weren't paying attention to or that was just cautioning you okay for yourself from red flags like if you meet somebody new because there is someone new coming in okay try not to like blame them for what the other person did because you may be looking for red flags your spirit wants you to free yourself from that all right if you need advice ask your spirit guides to help you ask them for help they're here in your reading leo okay you need to take some time out take some time out retreat pull back take a step back all right well that's what you're learning to do all right some of you are letting go of control issues and some of you are learning to do that okay keep an open mind leo that when you attract this new love okay they're gonna be a soulmate and they might not be they may be very different from your usual type. So someone in here is different from who you would usually date or the type of person you would date, male or female. But this past person, they refuse to let you go. They're still holding on to you. They don't want to let you go, Leo. All right. Yeah. Um, somebody in here may be getting locked up. Don't take these as tarot. It's just additional messages. Or this is somebody feeling stuck trapped and blocked here okay great fortune this could be over money they may be feeling stuck because of money they need to come in somebody may be broke right now all right could be a main male all right <sighs> this person somebody may work in a warehouse and i feel like they're going to have like a headache or a cough or something they may be going to work while they're sick. Somebody here. Yeah, somebody's traveling while they have a cold or they have a headache or a sneeze or a cough or something. Okay, be careful not to travel to work sick. Yeah, but I do see um, a court legal situation. You're going to be getting a message about that. Okay, or a letter. This may be, like I said, you're getting some type of order protection or... Uh, some sort of um, lawsuit or divorce or this could be a um, restraining order or something like that. But you guys, that is all that I have for you for today, okay? I wanted to make sure I reread this over so y'all could see what came out for you. Um, if you want to book a private personal reading with me or donate to the channel, that information is in the description box down below. I love you guys so much. Until next time, bye Leo. Your singles read is up next. And I'll see y'all in the next reading.